So we're continuing up the mountain then? Yeah, might as well check out up here. Uh, my HP is looking pretty good. I don't know what yours is. My but... HP is at max. Okay, cool. I'm just shy of... I figure we can uh, check this out. We can take our lanterns off. Oh, yeah. I figure we can check this out and... Uh, I don't know. Probably go back to one of the easier bandit camps, maybe? Mm-hmm. Because it feels like we've been chucking ourselves into places that are a little too hard yeah, for us. Yeah, the, the haunted fortresses, the um, potential magic cultists. Who knows? My boot's still busted. Nope. They're pretty busted, though. It'd be cool if there was a magic faction. I mean, there's a magic-ish class. Hmm. Oh, there are butterflies right butterflies. up here. Butterflies! Aww. Well, that would have been helpful. I like, I like the sounds they make. Yeah. So keep them in mind if we have to come back down here for a nap. Mm-hmm. So what do we got up here? Well, this looks like the beginning of the actual fortress. Well, oh, there's some eggs. I don't know if there's a fortress, necessarily. Got some eggs. A lot of mana around here. We might be able to go back into that cave. I don't know how bad the enemies inside are going to be. Well, those creatures that could just... I don't know, they were... I didn't see any more wizards. Oh, oh one minute. What's up here? Nothing. An old-ass sword? Oh! And that oh, thing? Ah! It's definitely an enemy. Is it made out of rock? Oh, that hurts. I don't... Am I doing any damage to it? Yeah, you are. I should switch weapons, though. Yeah, watch it. Oh, it knocked me down. Yeah, don't take too many hits from this. Almost. There we go. There it goes. We've got a good rock mantis. Rock mantis, we got insect husk and larval egg. Huh. Anything from this greasy fern? Gross. And minus mana stone. There we go. Is this really it? it? Uh, Unless we can go further up that. No, we can't go up that spiraling no. thing. No. I think it's really for that sword. Whatever that sword is. What's the sword? You it's, got it? Yeah. Strange rusted sword. The commander said to make this sword fit for a king. Yeah, whatever it is, it's, uh, it's a fancy sword. I... Hmm. Well, is it... Even though it's I rusted, I bet we take it, it to somebody. And then they fix it up and it ends up being the king's sword. Yeah, so that might actually turn out to be quite a nice weapon if we f figure out where to bring it. Okay. Well, we, we made it up to the top of the mountain. And I suppose that's what it yielded. It's expensive, but worth it. The sword is? Uh, oh, what's the dizzying effect I have on me right now? Oh, uh, probably got confused. Maybe? I don't know. I can't tell. Uh, if you go into your, uh, confusion, impact resistance minus 25%. I wonder how long it will take for that to dissipate. Also, there's another path over here. Oh, there is? Yeah, I don't know where it will go, or if it's just a dead end. I'm with you. Uh, oh, there's a dead dude down there. And a mana stone that you missed. Yeah, but I wonder... That's probably an ill omen that we shouldn't go no, down there. that is death. Yep. That guy took an unfortunate fall. We will we'll not follow in his footsteps. We'll promptly turn heel and make our way back down the Purple Mountain. So I suppose the vegetation here acquired this aubergine hue from... Oh, 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 What? Isn't that another mantis? This? No. 
Okay, it just... It's rocks. It, it resembles that mantis. It really does. Because it looked like a pile here. of rocks before. Shall you want to rest here? Yeah, let's let's take like a two-hour nap. I'm going to quickly equip that So what's so bow. special about these butterflies? Uh, they just somehow mean safety? I'm just... I'm just paraphrasing what people have said to me. So waiting, yeah, it's considered a safe zone. Cool. Yeah, so uh, it's nap for two and repair for two. Okay. I should get your HP more or less back up. And yeah, I'd lost half of it. Yeah. And then uh, should slowly bring my equipment back up because yeah, my boots broke earlier and I'm not happy about that. See, so you're not going to help the dead guy. He's beyond saving. And our reach. I'm thirsty. I only have one more drought Swig? of water left. Uh, yeah. I've got five left. So I can always drop the water skin. Don't forget your bedroll. Yes, yes, yes. Don't forget your bedroll. Okay, here we go. So for people that are watching this that know where we should be going, should we just keep kind of wandering about, wandering around, or are there is there like an easier place that we can go to that's not going to kick our <laughs> kick our faces in slowly? I mean, facing bandits is a is a solid tried and true. Yeah. yeah. So going after the bandit camp seems like a smart idea because I know going into the mountain would get us magic, but going into the magic also is is brutal. Yeah, because that one ice sorceress was able to take off much of our health just with those blasts. Yeah. Okay, so the sword does 18 damage, 18 frost, 27 impact, and 425 durability. Damn, that's cool. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, there's an easier path into the mountain. Is it down low? Maybe there are some... Other avenues oh. at the base. I guess Shell? They're saying just run through, so let's go back in. Wait. You mean we're gonna go back into the cavern where yeah. the lady I was? I mean the mage is dead, so True. Like that shouldn't be too bad. I mean the nice thing is there's no penalty for failure. Yeah, I I was surprised that even after we died the second time in that one cave, they had another man save us. I keep dying and it'll actually drag you to an even safer location from <laughs> what I've heard. Oh, wait, hold on. What? I think I see like a entrance down there. Do you see it? Um. On your right. You might be able to see it. I see some stones. Yeah. Is that water? That looks like, no, that's. No, no, that's just it. I don't know. What was I thought there was nothing else in here except for the the one mine shaft, right? Well, yeah, go down. We can we can try it. Poke our head in, just run past things. <laughs> as long as we well, I mean, I wouldn't mind taking like an exploratory stab at a thing or two. And because we realized that we were a little bit outclassed by those undead skeletons. Some bandit camps you can get into they're a bit more intro the difficulty is set across the board monster after you have to get learn combat patterns of enemies maybe it's like mana infused oh, oh? i don't know what happened oh Did my you, ankle is cramping strained? hard oh. yeah i don't know space space oh, sorry spache wait i thought i thought i saw some movement no nope. one's here no one's here now see look this must be the heroic kingdoms um what would you refer to it as? Their emblem? Their sigil? Their coat of arms? It's a... So you hop down. Climb the rope. Oh, how did that not hit me? Ooh, oh, oh, watch out. There's a green guy to your left. Yeah, there's also like spike trap. Let's go for the green guy, see if we can mess him up. There's a red guy on the other side too. Oh, Ooh. owie. Okay, so it's got magic. Oh. oh, it's some kind of weird magic trog. Another trog. 
I mean, if it's just like a weird magical trog, we're probably okay. Yeah. Get it while it's down. Who's it focused on you? All right, it's dead. Mushroom halberd. Huh. And the grenadier. Uh, interesting. Cool. I mean, admittedly, I'm poisoned. Oh no. Do you have any antidotes? I, I thought did. we did have some. I had one. Aw, I didn't bring mine with me because we were changing backpacks. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's that? I hear some battle. Yeah, something down there is fighting. Let's explore this area a little bit further. Oh, here's another oh, trog. Purple trog. Ow. Oh, spike trap. Oh, there's there's a bunch of them. There's a red one coming in. Watch it. Yep. Shame the trog ain't affected. He just con he's gonna continually spear me. Oh, I'm poisoned too. I don't have any stamina. I think we might... Yeah, I'm... Oh, and there's also the spear trap. Ah, oh, darn it. Huh. Well, this hurts. I'm just gonna loot everything that I possibly can. Is there anything I can do? Here's infections. No, cold stamina. Oh, I died. Wait. I think I have a solution. Revive you before I die. Okay, then I'm gonna go down in a second. Pick me back up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Ah. All right. Magic. All right, so there are levers here. It looks like there's a decent amount to be found. There's a junk pile. It has some stones in it, mana stones. So you're going to go on that elevator? Uh, not necessarily. Maybe. Wait, how did you get back there? Uh, just walk around. Okay, I'm just leery of all the spike traps. Are you with me? Yep. Cool. So yeah, another trog cave. They're a little bit more dangerous, but they still kind of behave like trogs. Mm-hmm. They just have more oomph to them because of the magic and the grenades and... Well, they have a dead guy. Soldier's corpse. Hey, water skin for you. Ooh, uh, I'm nice. gonna take the arrows. What does this do? Oh. It lowered the second one. Okay, what's the other one? You. I see. This just brings it up and down. Well, let's bring it down so oh, that we can go wait. up. Oh, it keeps going up. Puzzle! Uh, I mean, I suppose if we do this multiplayer, then we yeah, can... Yeah, you want to just hang out there? Well, uh, oh, oh, there's a spike trap back there. Do you want to take the elevator up? I can. I'm a... There's also, there's also levers right here. I think this one might just control this particular one. See? The one on the far side, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, why don't we get this one first? I don't know. Do you want me to go? I should probably go, Michelle. No, it's okay. Pro probably? So you want to come back up here? Oh, here. I'm in. Uh, okay. Yeah, this one doesn't have a... Just run at the first sign of danger. Okay. My pickaxe. Ah, uh, it's still busted. But I have a spare. Okay, I'm over here. There's this pretty cave. Is it... Really? I can't get up there? Really? I'm like, I'm trying to get up, That's but... dumb. Oh, wait. No, no, I, I got it. Okay, so it's probably just for the mana stone in the back. I can't... Get any mana stone? Interesting. Like none of Maybe these. Maybe you're are supposed to come through that. This is a way back. Okay. Maybe. Well, you want to hop back in the elevator? I'll bring you up. Okay, up even further. This is really cool, by the way. Yeah. Like this game is is kind of kind of breaky here and there, but like. Now there's a door. I think we want to do this together. 
Uh, is there a set of levers up there or anything? Uh, let me look. There's some plants, star mushrooms. This says, enter the conflux chambers. I don't want to do that. That's probably where we get our magic from. Oh, there's another path on the opposite side. Oh, I see. So there might be levers on this side. Or actually, oh, this goes to the other elevator. Okay, so I can just take the other, other elevator up. Yeah. I see. So I was actually, you're just supposed to get that one up uh, so it acts as a bridge. Right. Makes sense. Uh, let's see, I should be able to take this up. Oh. Is that a critter? Well, there was something fighting below, right? I see you right there, below me. I'm below you. Can you go up one more? Or is the lever up as much as it can be? I only see one lever. Oh. I might have to go around. Because there were two levers on the base. Well, I see another trog. Uh-oh. I wish I could help. It... You're probably okay against the spear guy on your own. Yeah, this is just a totally regular trog. That bleed damage is substantial. We gotta figure out how to get... Yeah, I think we should set up like a sword and board with bleed for you. Mm -hmm. So, aside from the iron and everything, yeah. I'm almost wondering if maybe what we need to do is... You see, there's two levers right there. Oh, there's a second lever or level for those. Yeah, I might be able to just take a, a path up here. Aha! Oh, there you go. Oh. Are both of them? Yeah, up? there's something running around down there. Ooh. You're creepy. Oh, I see. Now, what happens if I take this down? Hold or, on. Oh. I think I think I understand how this works. There's different levers that trigger different things. Mm -hmm. Um. Yep, I can come up. So. Uh, oh, uh, there's a, a small elevator. Oh, okay. Or yep. no, you came around the other side. Yeah. So there's two levers down there. One syncs up with the lever inside the elevator. One does not. Mm -hmm. So I just turned on the one that uh, worked. Yeah. And now we have the bridge. Now watch out. There's some spikes on the left. Oh, I see him. Up ahead. Yeah. We'll just go around the right, and then this is where how we get to the conflux chamber. Cool. This is cool. Mana must first be unlocked at a ley line. Well, I'm assuming that's in here. Ooh. Continue. I wonder if my tea's cold yet. Oh, no! What? Are we... No, no, there's a path down, too. Oh, there is? Okay, good. I missed it completely. Is this the door that we came through? Yeah. Yeah, that is. So we go down. There's some spiders. Or there's a spider web. And some roots. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I'm wandering huh. around for a bit. There's some candles, and this looks like another emblem. Blue Chamber's Conflux Path. Blue Chamber's Conflux Path. Huh. Do you want to see what's on the other side, too? Yeah. Um, let me light something. What's down below? Ooh, look at there's a ship. Oh, yeah, there's a boat there. That adventure has iron claymore, some food, amylite armor, cold stone. Fancy. That was better equipped than we are. Oh, that looks like a person at the edge. Probably another one of those witches. It looks like a witch. Let's go down. Okay. Because we know we can kill the witches. The main secret is we need to use cowardice. Oh, God. What? What? Look at that thing. Oh no, that looks it's, like a dinosaur. Yeah, it's a weird dinosaur. 
Uh, it's a Velociraptor. I think it's aggroed on us. Let's bring it back up here. Uh-oh. So let's just see if we can punch it off the path. Oh no, it's charging. Get back up. Uh. Well, I mean, it's aggroed on us, so. Watch it, he's got a wide sweep. Oh man, I'm almost gone, probably. Yeah, just just stand back, block. I've Actually, got I can probably change weapons. Oh, nope, going to bow was not a good idea. I hit it, but... Oh, come on, you almost got it. Come on, come on. There it goes. Oh, thank goodness. Trust and bleed, we need a nap. Yeah. Tuna sore. Okay, so a the scaled leather is helpful. Sore. Oh, I'm about to bleed out, by the way. Oh, oh. So hang tight. Actually, how do I get out of first-person shooter mode? I don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'll revive you. Uh, okay, there we go. And I need to eat. Well, no place like the present for a nap time. <laughs> All right, in the middle of this cavern. Oh, well, at least the temperature in here is good. Yeah, there is a chest down there, and I think another dead Tuonsor. So. There may be some water. I want to use this, but it's not letting me. There we go. No? There we go. Oh, no chance of ambush. No chance of ambush? We cleared everything out of here? Yeah, so let's do a full eight hours. Because my HP is Any pretty repairing? bad. What's yours? Uh. Yeah, my HP is pretty low. I don't... Let's do two hours of repairing. Oh, oh sorry. I already... Oh, it's fine. We can probably get by without repairing. So, if we defeated the one dinosaur, is that enough to clear out the area? Or are they going to come back? That section, at least. Mm-hmm. Now we're thirsty and hungry. It's fine. I, we've got resources. I've got crab berries. We're definitely coming back with a cooking pot next time, though. I only have some tack. Let's see. There we go. Uh, let me know if you need food. Oh, I, have a, I have a bit more. So let's go down again. Yeah. Is that what we were doing? Yep. Because I've actually got quite a number of uh, travel rations that I've just been hoarding, I guess. I, I see a chest down there. I don't seem to see any more dinos. There's the... Oh, it's a boat. There's a... Yeah, there's a small boat. Oh, it's clean water. Shell. Drink uh, and gather. Okay. Fill them up. Okay, the chest has a brutal spear. A brutal spear. A miasma pot. A cooking pot. Ah, oh, nice. Your your prayers were answered. Finally. I think we had one, but still. Gather fish? Okay, I'll see what the brutal spear is like in comparison. I mean, it's probably better. I thought I equipped it. Why isn't it le not letting me use it? Huh? I wanted to put it in that slot. Enough. Oh, there's a palladium vein down here. This is cool. Wait, where did the spear go? I just had it, unless it made me drop it. I... Where did... It's still in the chest. Oh, I never took it. There we go. Now I can change out my spear. With the superior spear. I think we've got everything in here. Except for the fish. Oh. 
Every time I kill the fish, I get boots. Boots? Yeah. Well, I think we've actually cleared this place out. Okay, we cleared out this lower section. Yeah. How do you feel about bum rushing a wizard? Uh, ha, 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 ha. I mean, we have an improved um, set of arrows and whatnot, so. Might have an advantage this time around. Yeah, I have some traps. If you wanted to... We could... Well, the, it can attack at range. It'd be terrible if we attacked someone and they were actually benevolent, but we don't know that. Okay. I don't see any other wizards. Well, I'll go first. I can't target them, so we can talk. We can talk. Fifth Watcher. Oh yeah, it's an old dude. I'll let you talk to him. Welcome. Bow your head in respect, for you have come to the end of a ley line, the place where the very world itself will pour its power into you. If you make room for it. Look at his eyes. They're glowing purple. Cool. Well, actually, no. They've just put, like, two glowing points outside of his eyes. <laughs> it looks cool until you get close to it with the camera, and then it looks really bad. Isn't that what they do in World of Warcraft? Where the glow is actually just... Floating a little bit away? About, yeah. uh, I think that's what they used to do. I don't know if it's still that way. It kind of is, yeah. Let's see. Open yourself to manners. Open yourself to the flow of our world. Use magic as to command the world to obey your desires. Master magic, and you shall master the flow that echoes through us all. You have prepared to sacrifice some of yourself for it, and you are prepared to miss many nights of sleep. We welcome you. May the power of mana lead you on the road to success. Wait, sacrifice yourself? What yeah, so I yourself? think you're going to lose some maximum HP. Let's see, are there any there are there any utility spells in this game? Yeah, there's a bunch of people around here. Maybe this is the font of magic. Maybe you talk to this guy for it. Because I'm trying to decide if I actually care about magic. I wanna ask these people about magic. I, here's the fourth watcher. Feel free to use one of our boats to return to the surface when your business here is concluded. It will take you to a beach not far from Zerzo. Want to buy something? What do they have to buy? Ooh, chakrams. Chakram spells are necessary to use this off-handed weapon. Merchant stock, scholar's staff, scholar's circlet. Mana cost is reduced by 10. There's Scholar's <laughs> Attire, Scholar's Boots. Yeah, it looks like the only real utility Term spell that limit. I see is m magic. Alchemy, uh, Astral Lantern. Potion, Cold Stone. I think I'll let Endurance you do all potion, the magic stuff. Firestone, Firestone, Hex Cleaner, Gold Ingot. Huh. So you mean you wanna you want me to focus on magic? Probably. I mean, I always enjoy magic, or being a magic user in games. I'm still wondering though, like, what was up with those mana-infused undead back there? Is that what happens to magic? I think they were just ghosts. Oh, okay. I want to talk to the other watchers though. The third watcher. Welcome. I am a watcher of the ley line. Do you have questions about the art of magic? What actually is mana, and how do you control it? Mana is the energy that flows through all things. With proper preparation, you may use it to force the world to bend to your will by casting spells. Although most spells are weak, but when combined or used in the right ritual sequence, their power is made manifest. If you wish to recharge your reserves of mana, having a meal will help. Especially a certain blue vegetable that... Ah, uh, honestly, I've gotten a little sick of eating it so often. You can also pull mana from lingering souls with the right technique. Oh, well, so, you know those ghosts? 
they yeah. left a a sort of burning purple flame after them. So yeah. that might be considered a lingering soul and you can get mana from them. You can rest to recharge mana, but be warned. Your maximum capacity for mana can only be maintained with rigid focus. If you sleep, it will take time before you'll be able to call upon your full reserves again. A sleeping mind loses its connection to the real world, after all. Oh, so they're saying that that's why the first watcher or the, the fifth watcher that we had talked with? Yeah. He was like, prepare to lose a little sleep. Is it because... Makes sense. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, so you probably have to talk talk to the fifth watcher up here. Yeah, I'll talk to the second one right here. Do you want to voice any of these guys or do you just want me to handle you them? You might as well handle it. It's a little easier on me. Magic <clears throat> is the weapon of a patient warrior. You cannot charge into danger and unleash spells as you please. You must plan your attacks and bring enemies into a fight that is at your advantage. Never forget that spells must be used in the right combination. Huh, interesting. There's another bedroll over here. Okay. Look at this person. Zephrian? Yeah. He... It looks like he's... What kind of armor is that? Also, he has candles as his pauldrons. Huh? Look at this guy. Yeah. No, I was looking at him earlier. I didn't quite notice the candles until now. Who's the guy that you could buy stuff from? Um, over with the boats. Okay, up there. I'm gonna see if I can offload some Can I talk to Zephrian? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. I have always enjoyed coming here. You can really feel the hum of mana as it passes through the mountain. What? Really? That's all you have to say, Zephrian? I want to know the story of this guy. Unless this is someone's personal, like, OC character that they just <laughs> put into the game. What do you think? Hmm... I wonder if I lost all my money for dying that much. Really? I don't remember if I had money on me, though. Uh, you may have kept it all stored. If I, I was only smart, have 40, that was the I, case. I have 44 coins. So it's the turnips, the termips, that they're probably referring to as the mana-infused vegetable. Okay. Right? So, do I gain mana by staying awake? No, by sleeping. But you can't sleep for long. I, th I think? I think you mostly want to just use items. I see. Well, so should I learn magic? If you want. I'd say of the two of us, you're probably going to be more interested. Yeah, I, I tend to be interested in in figuring out for what me, spells For me, I prefer do. to kind of... You more... prefer to be the, the tank. Okay, you get a burned mana effect when sleeping. Oh. Burned? Yeah, you know how your HP gets that darkened portion? Yes. So you get the, you the light burn. colored mana back, but you also get a burned portion of mana. And you have to do other things to get it back. Oh. Makes Talk sense. Talk to the first watcher. So you have come. I sense that someone who had the potential for magic was on their way. If you wish to gain magic, first you must give. You must sacrifice health and stamina to the ley line, and in return, what you gave up will be given back to you as mana. Be careful how much of your health and stamina you give up, because once you have traded it in for mana, you can never get it back. Huh. Oh, so is this a thing where you could like really invest and in, like get a lot of mana, or what if I just want to mildly dabble in magic? Would I be able to do like it in tiny amounts and then come back later and give yeah. more? Yeah, yeah. So, I would give up just a little bit enough that you can learn like a spell or two. Yeah. Because I know there's like a magic lantern you can learn. The first time you gain mana, you will gain your first spell, the spark. It may seem small and weak, but when combined with other spells or components, it can produce powerful effects. Interact. Ah, mana channeling. 
So for each point, your max health is reduced by five and your max stamina is reduced by five. So should I just give two points and get 40 mana for now? Uh, yeah, that seems reasonable. So Wait, I will hold, my hold health... on a second. Okay. Let me let me look up a spell. Like what spells typically cost? Because spells. Okay, so reveal soul. Mana cost five. Cooldown five. Bluish soul orb left by deceased thieves and adventurers. Oh. Oh, but that's only useful for casting other spells. Let me find something else that's uh, runic lantern. <laughs> Aqua colored orb that follows the caster and serves as hands free lantern that lasts for uh, six minutes. Uh, does not synergize with flamethrower, which is even brighter. Uh, fall plus Dez. How much does it cost? I'm trying to figure it out. You have to do rune word combinations. Oh. Uh, so it can get pretty complicated. Dez is a runic spell component. Okay. Runic magic. It doesn't say how much you have to... Well, I can always come back and give more, I believe. Yeah, because there are also ground traps and stuff. Yeah, so for every five I give, I get... Yeah. Does anybody know how uh, runic magic works in comparison? Because I don't see mana costs in here. And that's important, because if runic magic doesn't cost anything, it might not be so bad. Should I just have 40 mana? Or at the start, just yeah. to see? Yeah. <laughs> he can always come back. I'm just giving up two points. Like, well, yeah, two yeah, times yeah. five of each. Yeah. So I'll be I'll be going from 100 stamina to 90 and 125 to 115 health. Yeah, I think that's okay. Okay. Let's see. Spark has been learned. Swoosh. I got the achievement unlocked. Tapped. Now that mana flows through your veins, I can teach you a new spell to welcome you as a mage. So I can learn Fire Sigil or Reveal Souls. Uh, probably Fire Sigil. Maybe. Because I wonder if with the Revealing Souls, will I be able to talk to dead people? Because you know how much I love doing that in, say, D&D campaigns and whatnot. Fire Sigil would probably just add fire effects to my attacks. Yeah, the problem is I'm trying to find out if any of these actually give you... I can't see any that specifically use souls. Oh. Uh, actually, go Reveal Soul. Maybe? Because Reveal Soul plus Spark is Restore Mana. Oh. Okay. Well, that's because I make mana out of dead people, right? Yeah. Okay. Reveal souls has been learned. Let's see if we can talk to him again and learn the other spell. Okay. I want to train with you. If you want a simple spell, I can teach you the flame floor, the bleh, flamethrower spell at the price of 50 silvers. You only need to hold a lantern or a torch and you can use it. I don't have enough silver for it at the moment. I should have enough. You want to come down to me? So I have to hold a lantern or a torch, though. Huh. Interesting. Flamethrower. I wish I had... So I can't learn Fire Sigil? Really? Uh... We would have to learn it from somewhere else. Well, let me see where I can, say, get my abilities. Skill. Reveal soul. Well, I have that and spark. Tiny fire explosion that deals negligible damage but can be used in combination with other spells to greater effects. It can light campfires. Oh, that's actually quite handy. Means we can leave uh, flint and steel behind. Reveal the bluish soul orb left by deceased thieves and adventurers. Certain spells must be cast in proximity to a soul. Okay, yeah. That's all I know about it. I'm coming up. I should have 50 silver on me. Might as well teach you as many spells as we can so we don't have to come back very often. Where did... You're here. Okay. I'm over here. Should have 50 silver. Yup. Alright. 
Okay. Should be on the ground. Okay, good. Okay, let me learn flamethrower. There's also a merchant in town, and maybe the, the boatman guy. Maybe both of them actually teach spells as well. Okay, so should I go to the other guys first? Yeah, go talk to the boatman. Flamethrower's not terrible, though. I mean, I don't know. I, d I just need a, a torch on hand. Okay, um... Now, nah, there's... Well, you want to buy stuff from him. Okay, but does he buy... I don't know if you can buy, I can buy spells See what from he him. has. He should have he a bunch the, of random junk. He Let's has the down. chakram and the patterned worker hood. Now, mana cost negative 10%. Yeah, but if I remember right, that's expensive. Yeah, those are expensive items. There's life po potion, termit potions, firestone. Uh, we will need Firestone. Use an alchemy kit to merge the stone and oil. Oh. Huh. I don't know where to buy this from. Oh, you get potions that restore wounds. That's interesting. I'll I'll see if any of the other mages have any spells, but otherwise I'll just learn flamethrower. It's too bad though. I wanted to know what the fire sigil was. I hope it's not like one of those starter spells that you can never learn the opposing one ever again. Oh, I noticed that most mages don't wear heavy helmets. Why not? To cast spells frequently, I advise you wear light headgear so it won't interfere with your body's flow of mana. Heavy helmet, bleh, helmets limit your ability to cast spells. That's interesting, so maybe I need a hood. Uh, we had a couple. Train. Okay. I can teach you to gain mastery over the cold. A boon of cold will allow you to resist the cold and frost and increase the power of your own ice magic. I don't have ice magic yet, though. So, that's cool. If we ever get into a tundra-like area... That'd be interesting. Maybe I'll talk with that initial watcher that we found. All right. Sorry that we've just been spending all this time talking to these guys. It's fine. Oof. I mean, I'm, I'm just kind of taking this nice break. Cause I'm still sick. Yeah, so no. There's only those two guys, so one offers me cold resistance and the ability to boost my ice spells, but I don't have an ice spell yet, and then the other one gives me the ability to use flamethrower. So should I just learn flamethrower? Yeah, might as well learn flamethrower, because if you can cast that while you've got a, a torch out or a lantern, like, that's easy. A smart choice. Rather than using spark to detonate the air, try pushing the air inside your lantern. It will unleash a torrent of flames on any who dare cross you. Okay. So... Well, I probably can't have the lantern on my butt. <laughs> no, you'd have to have it in your offhand. Here, um, I'll put the torch why don't in... We, why don't we head back to town and find you a good single-handed weapon? Yeah, well, here, I'll do Torch, and then let me do Skill and Flamethrower. Let me say how this does. So, if I want to flame someone, I do R, and then let me try this out. Watch this. Are you watching? Uh, let's see. There you are? Yeah. Four! Oh, dang. <laughs> That's fun. Well... Option A, Michelle, we stick around here for a while. Uh, do we want to go back into the cave and keep clearing it out? Sure. Okay. That's fine. Because we could also go out to share sneeze, but I figure we've already like half cleared this cave. Might as well clear it the rest of the way. Mm hmm. Oh, I'm hungry. I'll need to grab more food. Yep. And I've got a decent amount. Oh, right. I got to go get some more water. 